Hi, this is Mark, the product manager for Rusty Hearts, and we're going to walk you through one of the upcoming never-before-seen dungeons. Uh, we're going to start the dungeon off in a party of three. Of course, parties can be up to four players, but we're going to show you one of each so we can showcase their talents. What you're seeing right here is the various characters using a lot of their skills and combos fighting these early enemies. Um, for example, we have Angela right here. She uh, She's using her fireball, a lot of her magic and ranged abilities. Two, he's one with the claws, very fast, very close quarters. In France, he's a mixture of sword-based, hand-to-hand combat with some really cool magical abilities as well. They're fighting some enemies such as the standard skeleton soldier, uh, these really cool winged enemies that show up later in the game, and we'll see some even more exciting enemies later in the dungeon. This room right here is a very special room. Uh, you'll see a lot of really unique enemies. For example, the big one that's just spawning, his name is Crimson Gloves. An earlier version of him, just named Gloves, uh, shows up as a boss in an earlier dungeon in the game. So as you can see, the level of difficulty progresses through the game, and enemies that used to be bosses now just show up as normal mobs. You also see some healing enemies that'll uh, heal the other bad guys around if, if you're able to kill them. Uh, some of the winged enemies and, and again some of the standard uh, skeleton soldier hack and slash fodder as well. <laughs> At the end of this dungeon, you'll see a short in-dungeon cutscene triggered by an NPC that will trigger a puzzle which shows off some of the various puzzle elements you'll get in different dungeons. Um, this one in particular, you have to figure out uh, which clock you have to choose before you can move on to the final boss battle.
Once you find the correct clock and activate it, then it'll show you these uh, these gates that drop that'll give you access to uh, areas of the dungeon that you didn't have access to before. This dungeon in particular, if you avoid falling down and having to fight the first boss, if you know where to go, you can find the secret boss, which is Lord Curtis, the lord of the entire Curtis Castle, where a lot of the game takes place. Lord Curtis is the lord of this whole castle called Curtis Castle where a lot of the game takes place. Uh, if you happen to find him here, it's a pretty big boss battle. He's obviously a huge, very powerful boss. He's really strong. Even our characters right now are really strong, but they're having a rough time with him. Uh, you'll see all his unique attacks. Uh, you'll have to pick up on his on his cues and uh, in his patterns. You'll be able to avoid his attacks and deal damage at the same time. game once you defeat Lord Curtis it'll trigger a cutscene which will progress the story. This is an isolated dungeon now so he simply disappears but there's a lot more after this once you beat him in the game. What you'll see at the end of each dungeon after you receive your party's grade is the loot card mini game. This is a great way to get some really good loot. If you picked up some of the bronze, silver, or gold cards in the dungeon this will give you the chance to get some really good gear or weapons. The entire party sees the same deck so they're all pulling from the same one so whoever's lucky enough to get the high level gear at first is the one who gets to keep it. Thanks for watching this walkthrough of the upcoming Atrium level in Rusty Hearts. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it, and we can't wait for you to play it yourself.